Hey guys, Spartan Droid. Doing another video. Uh, last time, last time yesterday I did a video on insurgency. Today I'm playing a game called Warface. It's free to play. Um, it's similar. It runs on the Crytek 3 engine, which is the same engine that um, Crisis 3 uses. So it's pretty nice looking, as you can probably tell. And um, it's quite fast paced. It's similar to Call of Duty and Crisis, obviously, but this is a free for all. Only the problem is a free for all. You can only play on this one map if you're doing it. So I just wanted to say that uh, I'm not during the week. I'm not going to be doing another video because I have to go back to school. But I will be doing. Okay, no way. I'm going to be doing probably an Oblivion playthrough soon because I love that game and I've played it through like six times already. So I'll just do a video on that. Um, this game it's pretty good. The only thing is, even though it's free to play, it's like a free to play, pay to win kind of game. So if you no fucking way he hasn't died yet, but you have to. If you want to get extra things, you have to pay. And it's also time consuming as well because, say for instance you do unlock something, it's cheap to unlock it for, say for instance you want to unlock a weapon, it costs maybe 3,000 to unlock, but that costs 3,000 to unlock in for maybe a day or so, but then if you want to unlock it permanently so you can keep it, you have to wait, you have to get like 10,000, it's kind of stupid, that's the only problem. So this shotgun here I've got because I've done the because I finally got to the level where I could be a medic, which means I can play a shotgun and I get this pistol, but I can only have them for a day, which means tomorrow I won't have it anymore. And he just got killed by his own C4. Oh. Another thing about this game is if you've played Call of Duty, you know how bad drop shotting is. Well, you can do the same thing here, but without laying down, it's more sliding like I did there. But shotguns have terrible range in this game. So that's pretty much it. It's it's a good game. You should get it because it's free to play. You need a decent PC, I guess, to play it because it's quite demanding in graphics. But I'm playing on highest graphics on. Come on, playing on the highest graphics, uh, and I'm running about 120 FPS. But if I was to play Crisis 3 on the highest graphics, I would only have like 20 FPS. So I have to run it low on that. So I guess you could, if you can play Crisis 3, you can definitely play this. But if you can't play Crisis 3, you can probably play this on lower graphics. So that's an upside to this game. Oh god. How am I doing this good? I've never done this good on record before. Because usually when I play, I get nervous when I'm recording. Like If you, if you watch uh, yesterday's video, watch the commentary on there and then watch it on this. You can see that it's much better on this. I'm already saying that now. And I'm probably going to do a video on my settings that I use to record on DX Story because even though I don't have many people watching at the moment, people may want to find out because, you know, DX Story is good software and it's difficult to get good FPS and high quality. Like my last video I did was uploaded in 1440p, which is one away on YouTube standards from 2K, 4K sorry. So if I give you guys that, it takes, the only problem with the XR is um, file sizes are quite large, but once you've up, um, edited a video, uploaded it and whatnot, you can just delete it off your hard drive, unless you're gonna use it. Unless you're doing like clips or something, for like trick shot montage or something, where you need to keep the clips. But that's about it, I don't really do that because I don't like Call of Duty anymore. If you want me to do Call of Duty, you can tell me. I probably won't, but I might do because it's an okay game. Um, Titanfall's coming soon, as soon as it comes out, because I pre-ordered it. I've said that in the last video as well. Alright, so that's, all, that's pretty much all I've got to say, really. Apart from the spawns and this are terrible, like good old Modern Warfare 3. You spawn somewhere, someone can literally just be waiting there to kill you. Like no sort of spawn protection or anything, where you spawn and you have a little bit of unlimited health so you can't get spawn killed, or it stops people from spawning there. No, you can just stand there and watch people spawn and kill them. Which is annoying. No, I don't, I don't want this. God damn it. 
Oh god. Ah, oh, he got me. Alright. I might cut the video up a little bit because this game tends to drag out for a little bit. There's only two minutes left, so if you, I'm just gonna shush and let you enjoy the gameplay. See you later, Spartans. This is the end of the video. I actually came third, which is a first for me. So uh, I'll see you next time, Spartans. Goodbye.